Bryson Bishop, the eighth grader who refused to back down from Zion Williamson, lives to tell about it. The mismatch of the century went viral on the internet when a video was first published of Bryson Bishop, a 5'6", 8th grader, trying to defend the 6'4"-inch Williamson. The video was produced by Hoop Diamonds, and it currently has 6.4 million views. This happened back in Zion Williamson's junior season at Spartanburg Day Academy in South Carolina on a February 2017 matchup against an 8th grader named Bryson Bishop. At 16, Zion Williamson was already a basketball star. Even in high school, the current player of the New Orleans Pelicans, number one in the last draft, stood out for his enormous physique that allowed him to run over any rival that stood in front of him. Few doubted that he would be a future NBA star. Bryson Bishop, who was a year younger than Williamson, was then playing as a guard at Oak Brook Prep College. He was 15 years old and was 5'6". The day his team had to play against Williamson's Spartanburg Day School, his coach said, hit him, and so he did. The video went viral within a few hours. The difference in size between the two players and the strangeness of today's NBA player when having someone like Bishop as an opponent dazzled people. For all the laughs about how physically overmatched Bishop was against Williamson, you'll notice he didn't allow him to score. Bishop accomplished his goal, which was to avoid Williamson's basket, which he sent to the free throw line. Bishop was whistled for the foul and put Williamson on the free throw line. Considering that Williamson hit only 64% of his free throws at both Duke and with the New Orleans Pelicans, that's a pretty good play. During the February game in 2017, the 5'6 point guard was slightly stunned as his coach pointed toward the stud in Zion, who was completely dominating their team, and uttered these two words coming out of the timeout, stick him. With those instructions, Bishop walked over to Zion Williamson, who was in the process of becoming the nation's best player as a junior at Spartanburg Day School in South Carolina. I was nervous, Bishop said. I had watched all the highlight tapes, and you don't get to see a big guy like him every day. I was clapping to hype myself up. Bishop was 100% mentally up to the task of stopping the powerful Zion, but he was giving up well over 100 pounds to no fault of his own. Bishop would assume his assignment by aggressively clapping seven times in the face of Williamson to pump up his team while unsuccessfully trying to gain position on Zion. It was a slight cover for how he was really feeling at going up against the Thanos of high school hoops. I was nervous, Bishop said. I had watched all of the highlight tapes, and you don't see a big guy like him every day. I was clapping to hype myself up. Bishop also did hit three three-pointers in the first half, with two coming from the corner and one appearing to possibly be from the NBA range on the wing. When you're the smallest guy on the court, you better be able to shoot, and you better not be scared to pull the trigger. A box and one defense scheme is what brought Bishop and Williamson together that day, and the assignment likely lasted no more than a couple of possessions. But that encounter was immortalized by one of the many websites set up in Spartanburg to capture Williamson's every move, attracting more than 6.4 million views on YouTube with the headline hyping the kid who refused to back down from Zion Williamson. Zion Williamson did, however, score an impressive 36 points in a 78-54 victory, but Bishop became internet famous for his hard-fought battle. You stand next to him, Bishop said, and you realize how small you actually are standing there next to someone his size. Despite the loss, Bryson Bishop was used to being physically overmatched as an 8th grader starting on the Oak Brook Pep varsity basketball team in South Carolina. Fortunately for Bryson Bishop, he never spent enough time in the paint in his meetings against Williamson to get banged up. After playing a starring role in that viral video during his 8th grade season at Oakwood Prep, Bishop ironically almost transferred to Williamson's school of Spartanburg Day and had another encounter with him almost two years later. Had Bishop made the move, he would have been a teammate of Williamson's during Zion's last high school season before he headed to Duke. When I went to the school, I met with him and he was really chill, Bishop said. He recognized me from the video. Instead of joining forces with Williamson for his last year at Spartanburg Day, however, he decided on Spartanburg Christian. It would have been cool to play with him for a year, but I figured when Zion left, the coach would leave as well. It was just better for me to go somewhere else. These days, Bishops is a 5'11 junior point guard, ranked as the 45th player in South Carolina, and after transferring for his sophomore year, is a Spartanburg Christian captain. Bishop is one of the top players at the Spartanburg Christian Academy. He is a specialist in three-pointers, and by some reports, Bishop now reportedly stands over six feet tall and is in the process of finishing his junior year of high school. Bishop scored 16 points in the SC 2A state championship and made the division's all-state team. Per LSU Athletics' Cody Worsham, he scored 1,000 points in his career thus far. Bryson Bishop didn't quite experience the growth spurt Williamson did, 
but still has seemingly put together a nice little high school basketball campaign. 